battery died. But anyways, I'm not a fisherman. Um, well, we fish tubs and all that stuff when we were kids, but um, and we uh, set night lines and and. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm not a fisherman, and um, but that didn't stop me from going out to catch my own fish and drying it, right? So that shouldn't stop you. So even if we don't know, just try your best. I just um trying to. I watched my stepdad one time. Like whenever, remember when I was telling you that by the Yukon River, and um we said night line or a net to feed the fish, and then he showed me how to do it that way. I may have forgot some stuff, but. I still adopted his way and whatever way I figured. Oh, it's still frozen. Okay. Then I'll go straight to the tail. Let me zoom you up. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Like so, and then I'll just go down the backbone. Okay. Let's go. Okay, that's one side, see? We did one side. Now let's do the next side. So I figured if I keep showing you, you'll catch on, eh? Funny handy. <laughs> Do you still see? Okay. Okay. I'll go right to the tail. Where did you get to Okay. And we'll keep going down the backbone. Like you learn as you go, as long as you do it hands on, right? Like so.
two left over the meat oh yeah So you're not going to be perfect, right? But we're drying fish. That's the main thing. I guess I could throw this on the fire and pick that today. See next, I'm just gonna um, like tell you instead of doing it, but uh, I'll show you how I, I do it. I have a pail with some salt, salt in there. I pour salt in a pail with water and then I dunk it in there three times. But um, after we um, make our lines in here, so, we gotta do it on an angle, right? On an angle. See, like this. So, when it's hanging, it'll be like this, eh? Okay. Right? And then we pull it, see like this, so we could open it up there, eh? see, but when you dunk it, this right, the angle. And then you pull it. This is where we dunk it three times in our our brine solution. Like dunk, 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 dunk. You salt brine and then you hang it up. Okay. 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 That was our last fish. Okay. So um, just like the other fish, well. Uh, well, um, won't dry it completely. Oh, it smokes. Um, but we'll semi-dry it and then we'll cut it up and then we'll freeze it. And that way we could just have one every now and then. We'll just throw it on the fire. It's like with uh, the dry meat, this is almost already ready. I just smoked it a little bit, but it'll be good, like, um, semi-dried. Semi so I could just throw it on the fire and just have a bite to uh, finish cooking it on the fire like I'm do with the fish. And, but anyways, I'm going to go get some wood, some more wood, and, um, we'll make some dry meat when we come back, okay? We'll try, we'll try to make some, like we did right here. Okay. Wood, wood time. One got some wood today and um, kind of wrenched my back a little bit, but uh, I just left half a tree there and I just took um, half a tree. But w w once I feel better, I'll go back and get the other half. But um, I gotta realize that um, I'm not that 49 year old no more. I'm a 50 year old. <laughs> but anyways, um, I put these racks on here. See. So I'm, I'm I'm learning as I go too, right? So I put these racks on here. I got from an old stove. 
about one, two, three wax because I I I, I made um, dry meat on this uh, this this little stuff on here, right? But it, and it tasted kind of tinny, my dry meat. So, anyways, I made this uh, dry meat nice and thick because um, I'm learning. <laughs> but anyways, um, so. Uh, I'll smoke it a little bit and then I'll um, I could just take a piece and throw it on a fire and you know finish cooking it like how I do my fish my fish I uh, see right here you see you can see it yeah? there's my fish my fish I just um I smoke it for I give it some smoke for flavor and then I'll cut it up and freeze it and then when I want fish I just throw it on the fire like we're doing this um, when we're building a little studio there you see I'll throw a piece on and then I'll cook it that way so so this thick dry meat we'll just cook it okay we'll cook some we we call it oven dry meat um, because we, we cook it in the oven after we take it out of the freezer the stick dry meat. We probably call it oven dry meat. But anyways, let's take a piece and we'll cook a piece, okay? Okay. That'll be awesome, eh? Oop. Ah, oh, this is too big. It's too big. Mama, mama, mama. I'll cook half of this, okay? Okay. I'll zoom you in. Hot it is hot. So I got diamond willow for um fire, right? For I mean for my um wood for flavor. Awesome, awesome. Did you see? Oh yeah, you can see. Awesome, awesome. Um, but anyways, we got our um, your. We're going in and out. But I, I, I'll go. I'll go try my other camera. Okay, I'll take this off a little bit. My other camera is stuck in manual. So anyways, I got a message today from from Green uh, Nelson Lowe's uh, relation. Um, my dry meat board's in town, so I got my arms, my moose arms still over there, up there hanging. We'll make more dry meat tomorrow with that board, okay? That's awesome. This dry meat is from. Remember, we made it before, and I just threw it in the freezer because uh, we're we're going to the cabin that time, eh? So, and then I dried it a little bit today. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Remember my grandma always come, I, I mean, cook this in the oven, eh? You can just smell it. Right away I know we will see what she's cooking. And then we'll go eat it with lard and salt. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Or even mousse, mousse lard, eh? It's even better. So even though you make mistake with your dry meat, and you cut it too thick, you could always make oven dry meat. Awesome, awesome.
I'm awesome. Or even Meryl. Who's Meryl? I should, I should break, break this. Awesome, awesome. Okay. I'll turn you back on when I finish cooking. Okay. It's all finished. My oven dry me. Awesome, awesome. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I just usually use lard. Oh, my knife bowl. Oh. Yeah, moose lard would have been good. This moose wasn't fat. Remember I got this one at the... Oh. Remember this is... Um, remember I got this one at the... I shot this this summer. So yeah. Mmm. Yeah, and also know if you're watching, um, can't wait to try your dry meat board tomorrow. Be awesome. See my meat? One leg, arm, one arm behind me. But anyways, look. Hmm. You see? Oh, you can't see. You can see now. And then I put a little bit of salt on it. A little bit tall. On my oven dry meat. I know we never cooked it in the oven, but that's what I call it because, um, it's, it's thick there, eh? and it's not dried right through, so, like I said, you take it out of the freezer, um, semi-dried, I guess, and just smoke, and you can finish cooking on, on, in the oven. Mmm. Awesome, awesome. This tastes so awesome. I like um, wild, wild, wild game. It just tastes so awesome. <laughs> But anyways, <clears throat> um, I'd like to show you this picture I took um, this summer, um, or this fall. Um, it's of a hill. There's a tower on there. And a um, long time ago, there used to be a fire. long time ago, way before my time. And even my grandpa was small. And um, But anyway, the fire just went long ways, way up. Long ways, right through the trap line and everything. And um, that hill there, um, my grandpa said um, he could see his, uh, that winter, eh? He could see his dad coming down that uh, mountain, that hill. 
um, cause um, all the trees burnt there, eh? and you could see him come down that hill. And his dad, he said his dad would set some traps inside the these. Uh, oh, my tree's burning. Um, set them um, trap in these unburnt uh, islands of trees, cause um, uh, the fire wiped out everything else there. Eh? And oh, but anyways, and um. He'll set his trap and not even 15 minutes he'll catch a Martin. And you'll see his dad come down that hill. Just long ways. That's cool, eh? And um, with his dog team. And uh, but anyways, I, I showed that place where his dad had his cabin, right? Right? And um, oh, the coach is fire. But anyways, uh, there was that cabin there, right? And uh, Agapa told me, he said, uh, his brother Jackie, eh, he was young too, eh, he said his brother Jackie didn't want to go to that cabin to go uh, set traps or stuff like that. And didn't want to go out there and then, and then they lied, they kind of lied to him, eh. They said that cabin's made out of glass. You could see right through that cabin as you sleep, you see the stars. And Jackie, his brother Jackie said, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. But then he got really disappointed when we got to that cabin. And uh, it wasn't even made out of glass, eh? And Jackie got really, really upset. But it's funny, eh? God, please tell me these stories when we're just sitting there, eh? Because um, at, even at 4.30, it's just totally dark in winter, eh? So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, what else I was going to tell you? Uh... Oh, um, but yeah, there's that picture I was going to tell you, okay, right here, there's that little hill. And there's another little, um, um, little thing I was going to uh, show you, uh, this is me in the boat, this, this, uh, this summer, and, um, you can hear the loons. And, uh, but my camera, um, my lens is kind of tipped so it zoom in and out, eh? So I'd like to show you this, um, little video. It's me when the loons and the pink, um, pink sky. And I know I'm sitting way in back of the boat. My boat's up. And I should have had a rock in front. But the middle seat was broken, but I fixed it now. I could sit in the middle. But anyways, listen to the loons.
awesome, man. But anyways, I got my oven dry meat. I'm gonna eat away, and I'm gonna cut some up for the woman and, and um, the boys. Bring some inside. And also this um Remember when I did that fish? Well there's still fish on this backbone. So not only I'm gonna pick at this um oven dry meat and pick at this fish. Okay? Mmm. Ooh, that fish tastes so awesome. Okay. So, don't really throw everything away, just cook it up and pick it up. Huh? So, anyways, try meat making tomorrow. So this is peace, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. I hope it don't snow. I think I see this snow. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna be happy.